Viewed from the end, the screw compressor has two helical, that is, screw-shaped rotors. One is a male thread, while the other is female. Their shape allows them to compress refrigerant gas as the threads of the two screws mesh. The compressor motor drives the male rotor, which in turn drives the female rotor. The design, pictured here, has four lobes on the male rotor and six on the female. Therefore, the male rotor rotates more rapidly than the female. This visual shows the movement of the refrigerant vapor from the suction to the discharge of a screw compressor, as viewed from the top. The vapor enters the suction area of the compressor and is trapped between the two lobes of the rotors and the compressor cylinder wall. Many designs use an oil injection system to seal the clearance between the rotors and the cylinder. The screw threads form the boundary separating several compression chambers which move down through the compressor at the same time. Only one such chamber is shown here to simplify the illustration. As the gas moves along in the compressor, the compression chamber is somewhat reduced in volume. This is the beginning of the compression process. The compression space becomes progressively smaller until the gas exits at the compressor discharge in its fully compressed state. This side view shows the overall pattern of refrigerant gas flow through the screw compressor from its suction to its discharge. Like the scroll, compression is nearly continuous and the screw compressor operates smoothly.